हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ सौरभ यशस्वी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जुलॉजी आर डी एंड डीजे कॉलेज मुंगेर यूनिवर्सिटी मुंगेर इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द फाइलम कॉर्डेट हाउ दिस फाइलम ऑरिजिनेटेड एंड वट आर इज क्लासिफिकेशन एंड वट आर द सैलियंट फीचर्स एंड देन वी डिवाइडेड ड्यूरिंग द क्लासिफिकेशन दिस फाइलम कॉर्डेट इन टू सब फाइलम बर्टिब्रेटर and uh, in sub phylum vertebrata we further divided it and we reached to the super class tetrapoda and then we divided this tetrapoda into further four classes out of these four classes one of the class belongs to the apes so when we look into the classification of the apes we divide apes in the further two sub classes the archaeornithis as well as the neornithis so in archaeornithis i can give you a best example that is archaeopteryx lip to graphicus so when we talk about archaeopteryx lithographicus we are talking about the bird which is a connecting between link between the reptiles as well as the birds and it is is in the extinct form in your know ornithis we have four suborders the first is odontonathi then the ratidae impini and the finally neognathi so in neognathi we have modern food birds which are able to fly so when we talk about neognathi we talk about the flight adaptations and which the birds have undergone various modifications and these modifications can be morphological physiological as well as anatomical so in this lecture i will discussing about all the three adaptations the morphological adaptation the anatomical adaptation as well as the physiological adaptation which the birds have undergone to survive which is best for their survival for the aerial mode of life so starting with this i would like to show you one of the picture of the bird and let you know that how does it look like so when you look at the morphology of a bird it has a streamlined spindle shaped compact body so what so what it serves as a purpose the streamlined spindle body allows it to have minimum air resistance during the flight the next thing what we see is the mobile neck and the beak the mobile neck help the birds to prey to for offense and defense and the beak helps them to enable them to pick up the food grains efficiently so it is very compulsory to have a mobile neck and a beak so when we look further we see that the birds have a powerful flight muscles these flight muscles are enable birds to fly in the air and then we have wings these wings are the modified fore limbs so when we see that where are these limbs where are these muscles located we see that the muscles are located or the digestive system or the other systems of the bird are located somewhat posterior to in the body so what's purpose it does serve all of you know about the center of gravity so until and unless body is balanced according to center of gravity it is not stable so one must achieve the center of gravity to be stable so when the organs are shifted towards the posterior of the body it enables the bird to balance according to the center of gravity the next thing which the birds have is the feather so when you look, look in the into the feathers the feathers can be of three types remiges and then retrices as well as the contour feathers so when we look into the retrices these feathers are located near the wings which helps in balancing the remiges are the tail feathers which are located at the posterior near the pygostyle and is attached to the pygostyle actually and these posterior feathers the remiges helps them to steer to change the direction and to maintain the balance the contour feather is located all over the body and it covers the whole body providing an insulation to the body providing it to be a partially waterproof and it helps to reduce the drag 
so when look into the integument when you look into the integument or the skin skin is loosely attached to the body so that the flight muscles can move freely and when we look into the hind limbs hind limbs are generally made for perching which means when a bird sit on a branch it's called perching so these are for the perching these line uh, hind limbs have the tendons flexor tendons so when a bird sits on the branch these flexor tendons gets stretch putting exertion on the toes and thus the toes automatically bends toward the branch perching mechanism helps the bird to sit on the branch without the fear of falling the next adaptations in the bird is related to the flight muscles which is the anatomical modification birds have very strong flight muscles so when we look into the flight muscles there are many muscles which enables them to fly out of some are very important especially the pectoralis major so when a bird fly it does two type of stroke the down stroke as well as the upward stroke so the pectoralis major are the muscles which are responsible for the downward stroke whereas the pectoralis minor is responsible for the upward stroke leading the bird to fly high in the air or it gives an elevation to the flight of the bird then we have croca brocalis longus and croca brocalis brevis these are the wings in the glenoid cavity and helps in the rotation next is the extension carpi and it helps in stretching and folding of the wings then we have branchio uh, radialis muscles that is a pair of muscles which helps in the rotation of the radius the radius bone that is present in the wing then we have tensor muscles the three uh, deltoid muscles gives the prepatagium or the what we call is the wings stressed during the flight so these are the some muscles which helps the birds to fly in the air so when we look further we will be uh, looking into the endoskeletal system of the birds and when we look into the endoskeletal system of the birds i must tell you that we start looking from the skull so skulls don't have sutures so these sutures uh, absence of these sutures helps to the birds to have one uh, single skull and thus reducing the uh, weight of the skull now this absence of suture also helps uh, uh, helps the bird to have a very compact centralized and relatively rigid uh, um, skeleton structures so next is the fused thoracic mass so when we talk about the endoskeleton of the birds the endoskeleton of the bird is almost fused so when we talk about the thoracic mass it is formed that the vertebrae it is completely fused the vertebrae uh, the thoracic mass is completely fused and it provides a fulcrum for the action of wings in the striking air then we have synsacrum so synsacrum is the formed by fusion of last thoracic lumbar sacral and few caudal bones and it provides a gidder like support to the entire body of the birds and uh, beyond this the vertebral column the sternum the rib the pectoral girdle forms a coherent bony framework for the protection of internal organs now we have a py pygostyle this pygostyle is present at the end part of the posterior part of the body so what it does it provides the surface for the at attachment of the tail feather so when we look into the ribs we have vertebral ribs which bears an additional bony process called as ucine which articulates with the bony sternal ribs of the synovial joint then we look at the sternum the mid bone the sternum 
So when we look at the sternum, it is a large bone and it is very strongly developed and uh, has it has a mid ventral keel and this keel is for the insertion of highly developed flight muscles. Now we have pectoral girdle. This pectoral girdle have a V-shaped furcula which acts like a or a wishbone which acts like a spring between the two wings. Then when we talk about the hind limbs, so the distal tarsals are fused with the metatarsals to form tarsometatarsals and proximal tarsals. So these fusion of the bones in the hind limbs provide legs with enormous strength to bear the body weight, the whole body weight and helps in bipedal location. Sorry, bipedal locomotion. So these are the some of the morphological as well as the anatomical uh, features in the birds which helps them to fly in the air. So in my next video, I will be discussing about the other uh, uh, systems like digestive system, the respiratory system, excretory system and the reproductive system and how they enable the bird to fly in there, what are the modifications they undergo so that the ultimately the weight of the uh, bird's body is reduced. Right. So for the next video, till then, stay at home, stay safe.